Hello my quilting family. Today we're going to show you part two of the aftermath of the churn dash case study. What I did is I spent a lot of time off camera sewing up charity quilts and they're cute. Oh my goodness. Not only did I use the churn dashes from our case study, I used all the leader and ender pieces to make other beautiful quilts as well. I can't wait to show them to you. So come on in, have sit down and I've got a beautiful little quilt tops to show you. So first up we have this one and you can remember some of them. We had the art quilt, we had the slash, we had the elongation and I've got a few extra little blocks in there from our uh, bits and pieces. So this one goes into my area 51 for quilting. Um, these were so much fun. They really were. Okay. Oops, there we go. Do it this way. Here's another one. I think the cherry's gonna be very happy with these. There we go. Okay. We hit we did lots, so now this is one where it's mostly leader, it's leader and enders. There we go. Very pretty. There. Oh, this is another one that has churn dashes. Okay. There we go. Oops. Like this. Okay. There we go, hey? What do you think of that one? That one's pretty good. There you see the scale, the the block that we did on scale, it takes over and it's a focal point, but there's lots of other cool little blocks to look at. And another, I believe this one's called Jacob's Ladder. When I looked at it up in the encyclopedia, there was lots of different names for this quilt pattern here. But that's all leader and enders. All half square triangles and four patches. And I'm going to have lots of quilting to do. I hope I don't run out of thread. This one's another one. It's kind of an offset chain. See, there's your focal point, and then it goes down to a diamond. And, okay. And this one just goes into stripes that the little four patches chain across the, the quilt. This is all leader and enders. This was taking those strips, those extra strips as I cut them and making them into blocks. Now this is a little bit different. It's their twin size. All these quilts are twin size. But I put all the pinwheels together and this is what we made. And I made another one, and I believe this is where we start after this quilt. Couch throw. So here's another one. It's all pinwheels. Very pretty, very fun. You know, just fun, little simple patterns to do. Now here's where we start to get into the toddler or crib size quilts, or couch throws. Here's a really cute oversized crib so a child can take it into their toddler bed you know or their big boy or big girl bed okay this one i have a friend who just loves postage stamp quilts but this one right here is a couch throw and it's a checkerboard pattern 
So it is all one and a half inch uh, squares that go come together into little four patches and then we sew all the four patches together. This one was so much fun. Oh, and we finally hit the end. This is another couch throw. And this is just a bunch of fun little blocks all over the place, just to give the color and warmth of fall, the fall palette. Okay, so that's all the quilts we made. So that's all my charity quilts that we're going to give to our charity. The charity is listed below into the show notes. It was so much fun to sew these and it was really a wonderful use of scraps and uh, it was a pretty full palette to boot. Now I'm going to be busy quilting, but before I finish, I want to give two shout outs. One to Stephen Bland from Bland Designs, he's in Ontario, and an other to Fallon, and her YouTube channel is called um, uh, Sew Daily, Create Beauty Daily with Fallon. I'm going to put both of those uh, YouTube sites into the show notes as well. Check them out. They do some amazing stuff. Both are very talented artisans. So, if you have some time, you know, these are lots of fun. And I can't hardly wait to get started on next week's Churn Dash. We're going to start with picking the, or not Churn Dash, Case Study. Duh! I was so excited about all the Churn Dashes, I forgot what I was saying. So, next week we're going to start our palette choosing for our next case study and I already have the case study all picked out what we're going to do. It's going to be fun. So come sew along with me. Okay, bye. If you have questions about what you saw in this video or you have ideas for content or something you want to see us do, please put those comments in the description below. But also, while you're there, like, share, and subscribe with your friends. That would really help us out. Okay, I want to thank you and have a great day.